it really um, made me feel sick and nauseous. So I laid down for about an hour, um, went back to sleep for about an hour and then woke up and I've been fine ever since. So I think what I'm gonna do tomorrow is maybe set my alarm for about 6 a.m., take the medication and then go back to sleep let the side effects you know the initial side effect come and go and then see how i am first thing in the morning but aside from that i've i've been okay i haven't really had the energy to do my hair um or anything today but i have been able to concentrate a little bit and i have got quite a few things done i've hoovered the house for the first time in a couple of weeks um well i've hoovered downstairs for the first time in a couple of weeks so um and i've cleaned the kitchen as well which is stuff that you know cleaning in the kitchen is something i do on a daily basis but i certainly haven't done that at all for the past week at least um yeah so no headaches I'm feeling okay really so I am still only on the, the lowest dose though and I, on Saturday that's got to increase to the double uh, to the 75 milligrams so we'll see how that goes but at the moment it's all going well and I will post another update tomorrow hopefully uh, I pray I'll get some sleep tonight okay thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to follow me on my journey um, through life bye-bye hi everybody emma here um, from unicorns v demons so this is day four of my venlafaxine um review last night i was up until four o'clock in the morning i took my ven i took the venlafaxine at 9 p.m and i was wide awake like I took my melatonin and that didn't get me to sleep. I took a sleep aid that didn't get me to sleep. I was alert, wide awake until 4am and then I finally drifted off and woke up at about 11am this morning. So I decided to take the Venlafaxine um, with my breakfast, which was about half past 12. <laughs> um, and it seemed okay, but then as I started, as it started to obviously dissolve in my stomach and enter my bloodstream, it really 